I'm working on this kitchen dresser. The original piece was built in about 1750. It's a Pennsylvania German design and it includes quite a number of interesting details and bracket details and these scroll shapes on the sides, the uh, cutouts in the shell for spoons and this header with these other scroll shapes look and also this area here and then a large crown um, molding here that is also quite a nice shape and of course we have some dovetails that connect the base to the sides so when working on this piece I need a lot of templates, full-size templates, to mark out the, the furniture, and particularly the side piece. You can see these areas of shapes that are in need of a, of a template that I can use in the shop. Now, when I do templates, I like to set up the templates in x-ray mode. I'm using SketchUp Make here so that so that you know that this is all available in, in the free version of SketchUp. And I'm in X-ray mode and I've also got uh, the camera set on parallel projection and I'm on a front view. Uh, that's what's required to do full-size templates. I'm going to reduce the size of the screen and try to fill the screen area with the area of interest for me in a template and this is about it. Uh, so I'm just looking, yes I'm in parallel projection and I really want to go to file and print preview and it shows me it brings up the print preview screen and I'm going to set properties for portrait or landscape. I want to try portrait in this case. That is the, certainly the option. And then on this page I don't want fit to page checked. I want use, use model ex extents and I want a one-to-one -one scale ratio here and it's showing me that it's going to take one to four pages to create this full-size template because it's bigger than an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So there's page one of the template. There's page two. There's page three. Well, it's not coming up quickly. There's page four. Let's go back up to three. There's three. And really I don't need all four pages. I only need page one and page three. Um, but I'll probably print all four pages and then just use the pages that I need. So I go back to the print page here and I'm going to click on OK and let it go ahead and print all four pages on so there's four eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper um, and I only need two of those sheets to make up the part that I really want to have for a template and I'll show how to make that template how I make that template in the, in the next video Thank you.